Greetings YouTube, it's pretty rare for me to do a full screen video that's traditional, what I call a radio voiceover. Basically it's a audio to b-roll slash photo track, but I wanted to highlight uh, a post that I've been tagged in, sort of, I, I don't know, I guess I'm part of the Marvel Champions community on Twitter. It says that I was tagged, but it's just at Marvel Champions. It's from the account Hellblaze3 underscore MCOC. And basically the caption is this. Hey Marvel Champions, or Marvel Contest of Champions for long. The floodgates opened when you put Legends titles in incursions. Now alliances made of hackers and modders are making a joke of it. This particular group of rancid excrement came to my attention. Rancid excrement is quite the title for a social media post. Earn some goodwill and drop the ban hammer. So these alliances are essentially mocking Kabam in plain sight. Um, I don't understand how it's possible to even legally have a description of something like this. And of course, it's legends only for these accounts. Um, but this is the kind of thing that makes people very skeptical of Kabam's claim that they are making sure that permanent bans get sent out pronto to cheaters. Now, to be clear, it doesn't mean that they're not doing that period, but it does call into question how effective their methods are. And so if you're thinking, well, Prof, we don't know if they're really modders. When you look at an account that's level 40 or level 30, and the overall rating is less than 200,000, obviously this top officer is less than 100,000, and yes, they've spent some units in cases on a profile pick, maybe 500 units on a profile pick. I don't know. Um, but it goes, if you think 144,000 is legit at level 40, okay, let's, let's just assume you're right. Is it legit to have somebody whose rating is 11,427 as an account at level 23 go through it? I don't think so. And the crazy thing is, because I'm sure they might have debated having, um, say, Thronebreakers and above be only able to do, like, threat level 6. But the problem is, some of these accounts, because of modding, can get to Thronebreaker status through whatever means they're using. So it's not like it would necessarily even stop these accounts from getting the legend title. So I um I don't know. I don't know what the solution is. I just know Kabam says there is one. And until stories like this stop or at least have a chance to stop, it's going to be difficult to take them seriously. And don't get me wrong, I want to take them seriously. I also think the spring cleaning event is one of the most exciting events of the year. I do expect, and maybe this is me being overly optimistic, but I might as well try for it. I do expect in the best Paragon deals to have a rank four to rank five rank up gem, probably a crystal for Paragon. Now, if Kabam's desperate enough, they'll make a rank four to rank five rank up gem crystal for Thronebreakers and a generic rank up gem for Paragon. That will get people to spend money. And as a reminder, I know we're early saying this, but uh, if you open your spring cleaning crystals and submit the crystal opening to have me react to as a commentary through Evazone in April, you'll be entered to win one of four $50 cash prizes. And we have given away, thanks to Evazone, thousands of dollars on this channel in the past almost year that we've been partnering with them. So it is a um, just the best partnership possible. Very blessed to have them in the channel's uh, stratosphere, so to speak. So do you think Kabam's actually making some ban hammers made, or is this just another sign of not taking them seriously? Let me know in the comments below.
Thanks for watching. Have a good one.